get to it. No, spice suggestion. Is it? Is ice spice in here? Or is that just your request? <laughs> Fuck, the fucking lyrical content in these songs are fucking incredible. I always get the God Cries messed up. for a treat. These singles have been awesome so far. By the way, can you guys hear me drinking? those bands. Fuck, that's so tight. I love how they hold the guitars right there. It's so fucking sick. take off my fucking sweatshirt fucking hot in here oh no is it doing the thing here i think i may have to just turn down the music okay sick The innovation with the guitars are awesome. Fuck, I 
I feel like the instrumentals here kind of give me before an autopsy vibes in a way. Kind of. the grooves. Such an eerie feel with the, not the corporation, but the, the scales that he's using. Kind of, I think it's chromatic, probably. I don't know. At times it's hard to tell. I don't think we're going to have lyrics here. I'm looking at lyrics on Genius, so... Yeah, there's a lot more grooves. It's a lot less, I don't know, knocked loose. Knocked loose is a specific feel and sound, in a way. up a bit. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? where he said I led to fuck the bendy bends yeah whenever he was saying I led myself to to be slaughtered here it sounds like a call out to um their EP what was the song called 
uh, views from halfway down. This course is awesome. Fucking incredible. It's wild that this guy was an Amorosa at first. If you don't know, Amorosa is like in a swan court band. Yeah. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, that was an awesome fucking song. Yeah, I would never have known either. Yeah, I just started... Re I, I reacted to their first out Amorosa's first album, and I was... Um, I was surprised when I saw his name. I forgot his name. Fuck. I think it's Chris, the vocalist's name. This is a bridge song. There's songs that like I don't love like all like the verses and choruses, but I'm just there for the bridge and this is kind of like the build up to that moment. It's good. Yeah, I can hear Bless the Fall in a way. Yeah, that fucking riff is so nice. 
Whoa. The fucking harmonics? The natural harmonics in the background? Is that what I'm hearing? It sounds cool, whatever the fuck it is. What the fuck? Eugene, thank you for the follow. Damn, man. Whoa. Jet, hell yes. This is kind of weird. Man, those leads are so fucking nice. Fuck, dude, the pitch shifting. Not gonna lie, this kind of reminds me... I The riffs kind of reminds me of Predestination Paradox. In a way. I don't re Era in their, um, I don't know. Do Era do Benz in their, like, older shit? I know in their newer stuff they do Benz. It's a lot more, like, slower, in a way. It's like Benz that they really ho hold. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Yeah, their their newer stuff is very interesting. How they're utilizing Benz. It's kind of like their newer stuff kind of sounds like Muse in a way, but just heavier. Man, dude, this guitarist is like setting his. Bro, this guitarist is insane with these pitch shifted parts. It's wild. Wow. 
God damn. I'm in a very weird place where, like, I'm getting very maze, but I'm also... Like, I'm very amazed in some parts, but some parts I'm very weirded out about. Fuck, oh, dude, these beds are so fucking good. Oh, man. I'm also kind of hearing some fifth for an autopsy in a way. Bro, imagine if fifth top uh my god, fit for an autopsy. Jesus Christ. Uh did like these like pitch shifted shit in their music. I feel like it would sound cool as fuck. Some people probably wouldn't like it, but yeah. It sounds very neat. I have to say, the riffs remind me of Angel Weeps quite a bit. Bro, what the? What the fuck? Bro, the innovation of the song is wild. That was a pre chorus. Dude, these refs are so tight, man. Wow, dude, this is so cool. Instrumentally, this album is very neat.
Fuck, man. That was awesome. This song is super nice. Yeah, this is the ballad of the album. Ooh. Yeah, the background is insane. You know, very simple ballad, but just hits. I love how this has its like heavy edge to it, even though it's like a ballad. Sounds awesome. Man, we're almost at the end of the album. Damn. Fuck, dude, this. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep on talking about it. Those bitch wheels are insane. Sounds like a build up.
Fuck. The WNS. That's great. This is definitely kind of definitely a weird song. Again, I feel like these songs will kind of be put together over time. Fence, man. Yeah, in their EP, um, they I don't remember them doing a lot of bends. Even with the like the two songs, Predestination uh, Paradox, and I forgot what the other song was, but um, there wasn't really much bends there. It was just very tight riffs. But um, yeah, this is very cool. Oh. Tracks like porcelain. Ooh, I feel that fucking lyrics, man. This pre course. Dude, th this band's pre courses are fucking awesome. I love whenever bands make me like question if it's the chorus or the pre course whenever I first listen to it. Fucking harmonics. Okay. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that.
Bro, dude, these riffs are fucking awesome. Fucking Riff City. That's fucking awesome. That song is insane. Last song. The Father's awesome album i feel like i need a, again i i say this every single time i think i need to let this kind of sink in for a bit i think um um there's definitely some very weird parts in this album where not to say i don't get it but it's definitely uh usually whenever i listen to an album or listen to a song for the first time i kind of predict where it's going to go which is probably not the best headspace to be whenever you listen to music for the first time but um, 
yeah, but there's definitely some parts where I didn't expect. But again, we're going to uh, listen to this album a bit more. Uh, or I'm going to listen to this album a little bit more uh, in the next couple of days. We'll see. Um, but um, yeah, I think mostly what I'm super curious about is like the lyrical content and where it comes from and the inspirations i do hear i i do see some trace back to pure like porcelain in a way i don't know if there's any uh trace back to like any of their older stuff i still haven't listened to like a lot of their stuff man like i think i've listened to no eternity in gold but i haven't checked this out since it came out so i'm kind of saving this and hopefully later down in the future and also i i think i listened to this first album too but hopefully uh, in the future, I will get to go through their discography. But um, yeah, this was awesome. I really enjoyed it. The riffs were fucking amazing. Uh, Chris's vocals are insane. I love the fucking, uh, what is it called? Uh, pitch shifting um, pedal parts. Um, yeah. Did you hear the 2017 one? No, I haven't checked it out yet. I heard that i think i heard from people that this album is like softer and some people didn't like this album or it's kind of a controversial record i don't know if that's true or not but um yeah this was awesome really enjoyed it but um yeah anyone watching on youtube thank you guys for watching the video um i'm uh streaming on twitch now uh which has been very fun so far um if you want to check uh see me alive reacting to the stuff jesus stuff every so often uh please uh follow my twitch but um yeah anyways uh if you guys have any suggestions please put them down in the comments below and i'll see you guys later bye